Hi, I'm Gabriel Hernandez, and this is Watcher DM. Today we're going to cover the adventure guide for Miss Quinn's Strange Sweets, a 5e compatible adventure for four childish characters by Miguel Gonzalez, with artwork from Maya Babadal, and myself, Gabriel Hernandez. I did the layout and design for this, uh, as well as the editing, and we released this in October of 2023. The PDF adventure has a linked table of contents that covers the adventure. We start with the background and adventure hook and synopsis, as well as section on character creation. This adventure is a bit unique in that the character creation process anticipates that your players will be playing tiefling orphans. To accommodate this, your players will take a commoner stat block, add some modifiers to it for tieflings, and then choose a cantrip that they can use throughout the adventure. So this is almost like a zero level or adventure funnel. It also works really well as a remember back when kind of adventure. So you could play this as a great one shot for when your players' characters were kids, go back and expose them in their memories to the hag Miss Quinn if you wanted to bring a a hag and their coven into your game currently this could be a setup for how that works narratively to connect the two it goes into you know getting out of the orphanage the basics of the candy shop and then we go into the actual map definitions for the candy shop and the different encounters in it and then it ends with an index of the maps themselves background is pretty straightforward missing children the adventure hook is that Creed, a wealthy tiefling adventurer, has retired and is running an orphanage for troubled tieflings. That's your characters. They gotta sneak out and get some candy. These are kind of the things that can happen in this adventure. There's a couple of things that are left to you to decide. Again, fantastic art from Maya Babineau. Uh, this is the character creation section, as I mentioned before. Mayhem is a little discussion with mayhem and how sneaking out works. And then this is the grumpy catches on table of ridiculous things that can happen as they're trying to sneak out. Kind of fun table for silly interactions. You may want to add your own, but that's what we bring to the table. This is the basics of the candy shop. Just how it looks from the outside and how the players can interact with it from the outside. Also, this magic sweets section defines how the sweets work in terms of any candy that the party eats. They may want to stuff their faces with some, and these are the candy effects. There can be some different crazy effects. In one of them, a purple tentacle sprouts from their chest that they can then use as an attack. It's pretty fun. And then we go straight into the adventure proper. So the shop floor, sales floor. The idea here is that the party will likely be turned away by the goblin and the giant wolf spider and need to find other access or other entrance to the premise. But they can fight their way through this or sneak and hide, do what kids do. And then these are the stat blocks for the goblin and the giant wolf spider. Behind the counter it has a sleeping security guard. The recipe room, so you can kind of see we've got these like little mini maps that show you which room we're describing. From behind the counter they can go upstairs and from the recipe room they can go downstairs. Uh, of course in the basement is where the good candy is, but if you have a group who wants to adventure and explore then they are likely going to go upstairs, which is the residence floor. There's a fun little game going on here in the game room where uh, Dwargar and uh, some goblins will basically gamble with the party and take some candy. This is the Dwargar stat block, just in case. And then you've got the bedroom, the kitchen, the fireplace are all just, you know, unique little areas. The organ room can be some fun. And if the party enters the bathtub or the bathroom, they are likely to be attacked by a tentacle. So this reuses the tentacle stat block that the players can get from their candy. It'd be fun to have a tentacle slap off here, just saying. And basically the tentacle and the bathtub cannot really be harmed. It's kind of like a, it's like a piece of furniture that attacks you. And then if the players enter the closet, they will be assaulted by the blind pet basilisk who mostly just wants to cuddle. And if they can, they will rescue the parent who has been turned into a pillow. This is a fun little role-playing counter. If the party then goes downstairs, they are exposed to some nastiness, dead children specifically, and then they can interact with the cauldron where Miss Quinn is cooking up some candy. 
This is the Miss Quinn stat block. She is basically just a green hag, but she only has 15 hit points so the party can, can bring her down pretty quickly. There are non-combat ways to deal with Miss Quinn. I say non-combat, but effectively they're like ways that you can allow the party to outthink Miss Quinn in a storied way. If combat is not their first, if they're having a hard time hitting, she does have a relatively high armor class, 17 natural armor class. And the storage area is where the party can find some treasure and some magic items that are, some of the which are cursed. You can actually, it's fun to do these as curses, but you don't have to use the curses, so go nuts there. And then in area four, which is hidden behind this shelf here, is, are the caged children, the children that the hag has kidnapped. And then this is about ending the adventure, and again... Our, our maps here for the counter and our little back page. So yeah, again, lots and lots of fun artwork from Maya Babineau. I think it's a really fun adventure. It doesn't take a lot for granted in terms of being an experienced DM. Miguel Gonzalez, who wrote this adventure, this was the first adventure that he had written. And I liked the idea so much that I was like, bring it to me. I want to get it illustrated and, and published for you. So that's precisely what we've done. And yeah, I hope you will enjoy. If you have run this adventure or have find any typos or anything like that, please send off in the comments below. And otherwise, I'd like to invite you to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to our channel to get new adventure guides as they come out. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos when we produce them. And also, if you'd like to support our work, you can pick up this and any of our other content at watcherdm.com, on drivethroughrpg.com uh, by looking up Watcher DM Publisher, or on itch.io, again, looking up Watcher DM. Or you can come join our Patreon at patreon.com slash watcherdm, W-A-T-C-H-E-R-D-M. And yeah, I hope that is more than you need. I'll be seeing you soon, and you should stay weird.